Hi Taurus, this is our red thread bracelet that we created uniquely, specifically just for your zodiac. Now, um, I just finished the reading, and if you connect with this reading, Taurus, um, I would advise that you can, uh, you know, you can wear this on your left uh, wrist. Um, the link is going to be on the screen. There's a flashing arrow, and you can see this wonderful red thread bracelet. Now, this is the Amazonite. And you can see more information about how it works. Just follow the link. And this is for you, Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to... We're, we have moved on from Galactica, Andromeda. Now we call it Frutella. <laughs> Not sponsored, if you know Frutella. I love Frutella. Like the strawberry or the lemon, I think. You know, because I, I like... If you don't know Taurus, like I really saved my money when I was younger. So for me, that was lunch. If I can get some candy, that's it. That's it. I'm good with the candy. Gives me that candy rush, the sugar rush. Okay. And banana queue. Here we go. Let's begin with your reading. Oh, and yes, we're not going to talk about it. Uh, I live a life of in denial. So gorgeousness comes into our life and we just have to deny it. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. Mm -hmm. Let's see. For my Taurus. Love my Taurus, you know. Taurus are so open to change. <laughs> Let's begin. The nodes are changing though. Let's begin. Eight of Wands, Taurus. Eight of Pentacles. This, that's something that you welcome every time, right? Change your schedule. Can we change? You know. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Um, Eight of Wands in Fratella, Fratella Land. Okay. Um, I feel that uh, you are very focused on your work. That's good. Eight of Wands, consistency, and with the Eight of Pentacles. So these are, I feel like, coming back with emails, with reports. Um, there are some travel opportunities with you with the Eight of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Your go, go, go. Your schedule is like on point, on cue. It's like, I don't have time to date. I don't have time for anything besides climbing the corporate ladder. Um, eight of Wands it can be application also in foreign land, considering that this is online. So you may be applying for different jobs or just looking at, you know, maybe I should open my website, Eight of Wands with Eight of Pentacles. So very career-oriented. You're coming in strong for April, like I need to make coins. Good. Your focus is the coins. Knight of Wands with the Sun card, someone finds you very, very attractive, right? Okay. Now, this is a younger person can be. The Sun card is asking you for some time out. Like, hey, Taurus, you want to go here? You know, this is a date with the Knight of Wands. It's a message, um, can be a Sag or a Leo here, but <clears throat> this person is, you know, if it's fiery in nature, then they just go like that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, okay, um, Taurus, you want to do this, you want to do that. But on your end, it's like, no, I can I have responsibilities. I have things to do. Well, this person wants to do you. Wink, wink. Because <laughs> the sun is like, they want to take you out. Mm -hmm. I don't know, though, why you're not, uh, you're not. Why? Why Taurus? Why? That's my question. Because with the Sun card, it's happy day, it's healing, it's it's a positive news coming from them. Someone, you know, someone wants to... This is a constant going out on date mm -hmm. with the Sun card here. So their intention is to tell you, like, you know, like, hey, I'm happy around you. Maybe you want to grab some coffee, a drink, or go to the bookstore. I don't know why, why National Bookstore Expressions? <laughs> what bookstore? <laughs> Maybe you like to go and, you know, go to the bookstore. I like to go to the bookstore. Barnes & Noble. Don't stalk me, though. Okay. I go to the section of food. <laughs> You'll always find me there. Mm -hmm. Either that or the magazine where they're all weddings. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know what they say. Anybody can dream. <laughs> Traje de boda. Mm -hmm, here we go. <laughs> More like Buddha. <laughs> Ace of Wands. You know, I should seek enlightenment instead of thinking of marriage. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, Eight of Wands with uh, the Ace of Cups. Taurus, like, I feel like this is a time where you're falling in love with yourself and you're just enjoying every single thing. Okay, as a Taurus myself, you know, this considering this this whole. Um, this whole nodes going away from from your zone, Jack, in your first house. You know, Rahu is saying it's like it's time for us to change. You know, Rahu is the bringer of the future, so you have gone through so much. You will break free though from who you are before. It's like shedding off your old skin. Mm -hmm. So you do some micro peeling can be <laughs> your old skin uh, with the 
with the temperance over here, you find that you are more balanced when you're single. <laughs> and you're much better when you're single. Why not? That's the truth. This is what you're saying to yourself here. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, Eight of Pentacles with the Temperance, you're working hard on your spiritual growth, which is amazing. Um, this is, again, this is the card of spiritual balance. You're understanding the yin and yang. So you may be working with your chakra, your energies. You're slowly, um, you know, slowly and surely um, doing things the right way for yourself, not for anyone. Mm -hmm. Page of Wands with the Five of Swords, the person is upset with you. You're not really um, giving them any time of day or effort. Um, and you're just soaking this whole love. Now, you can probably love this person, but I don't know. I don't think so. It's more of like them having such strong feelings for you because you love yourself. When you go to this kind of level like me, <laughs> when you love yourself, like everybody's just like wanting to love you. Like, trust me on that one. Every little person, not little person, you know, every one person just offers himself to you because you it shows, you radiate this kind of energy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. But yes, it's the self-love, the self-care that attracts okay, this uh, this kind of energies with your life. Major of Wands, Flirtatious, Five of Swords. They're going to start some drama over here, Taurus. Just trying to get your attention. Keep loving yourself. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. So... So yesterday, I love myself, so I went to Beverly Hills, you know. I love myself. <laughs> Other day, I went to Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Yeah. So now people know where I frequent. Mm -hmm. No, I don't go there. Mm -hmm. I usually go to Crossroads. Crossroads is like the thrift store, right? Uh, here we go. Let's see. I got Seven of Swords, Hermit, Eight of Cups. So you are in denial, though. You're running away when someone likes you. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't want anybody anymore. Hermit with the Seven of Swords. You're in denial. So the this person is, will tell you that they love you. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups, foreign person, met online. Um, You have trust issues right now, dating, and you'd rather be by yourself with the Hermit. Okay, but this is a denial card with the Seven of Swords. Now, this person, if you do this, um, they'll walk away. They won't fight for you. They will at uh, in the beginning with the Five of Swords. But as soon as they figure you out, that you're not available, that you're avoiding them, Eight of Cups, they will check out. Mm -hmm. They'll check out. Check out. You have the Nine of Wands. Yeah. You ghosted someone. You left them um, with the Five of Pentacles. This is, uh, this is quite surprising because all of a sudden, you, you will... Just build this wall with the Nine of Wands. All your issues with regards to relationship will surface. Everything that you work hard for is just... Um, I feel like the trauma is coming out. So you're still in the middle of healing yourself. Because Five Pentacles, you're not going to deal with this person. Ace of Swords with the Tower. Um, first they walk away and then they give up. But then the Tower and the King of Wands. I feel like this person will reach out in the next 30 days. And you're the one who's doing the no, no contact. So let me see the next 30 days with your King of Wands. Think of a number... Okay, one to nine. This person will reach out to you. Eight, I'll do eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll put that in the tower though. Something unseen, you never expect from this person, um, will come to surface. And let me see your five of pentacles here, the no contact. I'm going to add four cards for that one. In the next seven days, what will happen, okay, with this no contact? Five pentacles with the hermit. You're really saying, it's like, no, no, I'm not going to reach out. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to get four cards for your hermit. Um, what is the lies? Why are you avoiding this person? I'm going to get three cards with the seven of swords. What's the positive news that this person is supposed to bring to you with the sun card, but you didn't accept? And once this person walked away, okay, I want to know what happened that day, that time that they walk away from you. You know, what were they thinking? Read the cups. Because... They felt like something awkward between the two of you. Like you just went cold. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Mm. And this communication, Ace of Swords, that they wanted to tell you um, that got ne that was never brought to surface or to the table. I want to see that also. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading. There's going to be more of the reading in the extended in the description box below. 
It's called the Grand Reveal. That's what I call it. If you cannot see it in the description box, there is a blinking light on the screen and that arrow will direct you to the Grand Reveal. Okay, so Taurus, let's find out more what happens because you guys are in the no contact and then surprise, surprise, someone's going to speak up. Thank you very much guys for watching. Bye.